Hey there everybody, in this video we're going to talk about five offers that you can use that are going to help you to increase the average order value of your customers and help you to monetize your list better and make more money per customer, which is one of the most important things that you can do when you're doing digital marketing. So let's get into this video. How's it going everybody? My name is Brandon Brashears and this is the Digital Marketing Madman channel. I make daily marketing videos. So if you're interested, click on this M right here and subscribe. You'll be able to improve your digital marketing and grow your business. And I cover everything from Facebook ads to Google ads to display ads to search engine optimization to copywriting, just basically everything digital marketing. If you're looking to grow your business, then this is a great channel for you. All right, so let's get into this video. So why is it important that you're able to increase your average order value or your average customer value? And I think that it's really, really important because the number one rule of marketing is whoever can pay more for a client is going to be the business that wins. So if you can pay more than your competitors to get clients, there's no way that they can beat you, except for like if you're doing a terrible job at service or you know, there's always exceptions to the rule. But for the most part, if you are basically able to double, spend double what they are on acquiring customers, there's no way that they're going to be able to compete with you. And so that's what you should always be trying to figure out is how can you increase your customers, the value of your customer so that you can pay more and afford to pay more to acquire customers. Especially as digital marketing becomes more and more competitive, this becomes even more important because it's going to help you to dramatically increase, increase the ROI and the return on ad spend that you have going out. So um, it's just incredibly important to figure out how can we get more out of our customers by serving them more, serving them better, or just figuring out kind of what they're looking for when they're buying from us. So let's go over these five very simple but effective ways that you can increase your average order value. The first one is cross sales and Amazon uses this all the time. Anytime you add products to cart, um, if you take a look below the Amazon listing, you'll see that it says customers also bought this product with it. And this is just one of the smartest ways, right? Using social proof to show related items that may work well with what they've just bought, or it's more of what they're looking for. So when you have a customer who's buying things, they're telling you what they're interested in with their money, which is the best way to figure out what they're actually interested in. It shows you what they're, what's really important to them. Now with cross sales, there's two different ways to approach this. You can be approaching people as they're in the checkout process. And that's definitely an interesting thing to check out and to test, but you can also do it in the after purchase state where they're receiving an email for an order status update or an order confirmation. That's also a great place to put these other products in there and um, you're able to typically see pretty good results on both of those activities. So that's something that you're gonna to wanna to do, but if you can take the, the cost of acquiring a customer and sell them twice as many products, it's going to help you to increase the ability for you to, to spend more to get more customers. So you're gonna you're gonna have huge benefit there. The other thing is upsells. So the second one here is upsells. With upsells, it's an immediate offer, right? So they already bought this one thing now it's another slight step up that could be either dramatic or a small step up in a purchase price. One of the people that does this all the time that's a master of it is Russell Brunson. If you go to any of Russell Brunson's sites, he does his free plus shipping book or his webinar funnel templates and immediately there's an upsell offer. Hey, get this one training for $97, right? So we're adding on typically some limited offer that's very, very limited. We're just trying to get use that buying momentum to just have somebody take the next step. And typically with those kind of upsell offers, a lot of times it will be a scarcity based discount. So let's say you buy a $4 book that's $4 plus shipping. And then immediately with that, you have an upsell that's $97 of a discounted course, for example. And this is something that digital marketers do all the time when they're selling info products and courses and things like that. So if you sell courses, what is a good quick upsell? With one of my clients, we sell a radiographic positioning guide. So they sign up for a free webinar and then immediately upsold for a web um, a guide. So it doesn't even have to be a paid upsell, like you could have a free product that's an opt-in with an immediate upsell. But using scarcity, so either a limited number or a time frame, and typically if, if you're doing an upsell like that, it has to be 60 minutes or less or a one-time thing, depending on what the product is that you're selling. Obviously the higher price the product, the more time you're typically typically gonna wanna give them. So if you went from like a $100 product to a $3,000 product, 
um, it would be kind of difficult to say, hey, you have to buy this now. Because you're trying to get something and you have to think about the context that you have with the client that is making that purchase. Is it their first visit here? What's the appropriate next step? And usually, if you're doing an upsell, it's somewhere in the 100 to four to $500 range, but not typically above that. Because usually with, with high ticket sales, you, you need more context and you need people to kind of take the next step based on how they've interacted with your business so far. The next offer is a high ticket offer. And with this, you basically are trying to get the most rabid fans. So it's kind of different than an upsell in that it is not something that's like on a whim that somebody would buy and say, hey, this looks like something that's interesting. And it doesn't take that money, that much of a decision to get it done. So with a high ticket offer, typically, like let's say you have an info product or a course and you have somebody going through it. And let's say it's a four week course that they get new content every week. Maybe starting at week two, you start pre-selling this high ticket offer. Week three, you start to sell it. But really it's, it's built into your funnel so that you have the highest of high offers and you're gonna get people who love your brand and love your product if you do a good job. And you're gonna have at least a small percentage of your brand um, followers who are gonna want more from you. There's always people that want more access, that want more training. And so what are the high ticket offers that you can give them? And even if a very small percentage of these people take this high ticket offer, um, you're going to be able to increase your revenue dramatically because you're going to be able to have these high ticket, high priced offers going through your funnel. So thinking about what is the best experience that I can give and what's the most that I'd want to charge for it and really shoot for the stars here and don't hold back and try to say, you know, what is the next level of service that I could give and how could I increase my product offering and my value that I'm providing to make this really, really valuable for my most you know, avid fans of my brand. So think about that, that would be super helpful. Even let's say you decided to make a $15,000 high ticket offer and you were gonna offer maybe one-on-one -on -one training or consulting and let's say only, you know, one or two people a month took it, you're gonna add 30 grand a month to your, your business without doing anything but adding another offer on there. So this is really helpful in maximizing your profit and it really drives up the average value of your customer, which helps you to be able to charge more in acquiring those customers. The next offer that you can do is bundling and kit, making a kit. And this is very similar to cross sales, except that it takes that one product and it puts it into a bigger kit that people buy typically. Now you'll see Amazon also does this. So they'll add, you know, frequently bought together and they'll put it in a kit. An example is like my camera stuff that I bought. I bought an, an M50 and then there was a kit that I could get a small rig case, a UV lens and other things. Another company that does this really, really well is Dollar Shave Club. So they have razors that you can buy or you can buy a whole grooming kit. And the grooming kit is typically a package and it looks really affordable, right? The razors might be $4.99 and the grooming kit might be $12.99 and you get all of these other things. So figuring out how can you package your products into a bundle to increase the average order value while at the same time increasing your profit um, per customer. So it's very, very helpful to figure out what are the things that they typically buy together and bundle together. How can I put that in a kit that will help me to sell more product and make each one of my customers more valuable? And the last offer is recurring billing. So how can you create a product that is going to be billed monthly? And software companies do this. I pay so many software companies, whether it's Ad, Ad Espresso, um, Meet Edgar, uh, Picto chart, like I have all of these monthly subscription billings out there and it's a really good way to build stable income. So if your business has some kind of software that you can create or some kind of access or coaching program or mastermind or weekly webinar, what is it that you could do to add value to keep people consistently in your funnel, consistently consuming your content, but at the same time get paid for it. So what this does, it allows you to add, um, automation to your business. It allows you to segment and identify customers that are paying you to get your information. And it's a really, really helpful way to not only build your list, but build your list of people that are actively searching out for your information for high ticket sales and, and other things. And it gives you so many opportunities to not only stay in contact with those people, but to also upsell them additional products. And um, with clients that have recurring billing um, set up for their different groups or masterminds, it's really, really helpful to market offers to those people and also design and develop new products for those people, get feedback, and it just really re helps to um, increase the average order value and the lifetime value of the customer. 
So I would love to know what is your favorite profit maximizer. Comment below with your favorite one. And if you need any help with any digital marketing things, please just comment below. I'm happy to help and would love to give you ideas or make additional videos. So if you want me to make any other videos, you have some topics that you'd like me to cover, comment below with those. I hope this was helpful. If you liked it, hit that like button and please consider subscribing. Have a great day. I'll see you on the next video.